this video segment is to study the right renal artery. Now, what a patient in uh, patient presently is in left lateral decubitus posture, and the probe is uh, at subfostal region, angled about 60 degrees, as you can see. Take yes. Patient in left ventral decubitus posture, and uh, you see this is the subcostal region, and I place the probe in the mid subcostal region with the uh, angle of approximately 80, 80 degrees. And uh, it will vary from patient to patient. However, this is the main patient left lateral decubitus posture, and, and uh, placing the probe in the mid epigast uh, mid subcostal region, and then angling the probe a bit, you will get uh, the picture that I'm going to show you on ultrasound. In this patient, though, I I can see it in this angle. Thank you. Now this is the study of uh, this this tiny cystic area. Tiny cystic area is the right renal artery, with this being the IVC and this is the aorta in longitudinal section. Both you can see in longitudinal section. This is the IVC in longitudinal section, this is the aorta in longitudinal section, and this cystic area is the right renal artery in transverse section. And now I am going to give a probe a sweep to see if it enters the uh, hilum of the right kidney or not. And here you can see the same structure that was being seen as a tiny cystic area. This is the IVC, this is inferior vena cava, and this is the right renal artery, this is the hilum of the kidney, it's entering into it. Here we are. You will refer the clear view. This one. This is the right renal artery, this is the IVC. <coughs> now the same maneuver I am going to perform again. This is the IVC, this is the common, uh, this is the right renal artery and let's see that if it enters the kidney and it enters the kidney, here you can see. Repeat this maneuver again and again. You have to follow this tiny cystic area in transfer section and then move it angle the probe and you see that this is the artery, this one is the aorta, the artery, the hilum of the kidney. Now you see the position in which I see uh, the longitudinal section of right renal artery, you can also see the pulsations in the right renal artery. This is a magnified view. Now for this section, see the angle of the probe. This is the angle. Initially I was seeing in transfer section and this was the angle. I gave a probe, keeping the. I gave a sweep to the probe, keeping the probe at the same angle, but moved it about 90 degrees, and I saw the longitudinal section of the right renal artery entering the hilum of the kidney. Uh, sorry, emanating uh, from the kidney, emanating from the kidney, not entering the kidney. I am sorry for the initial. So again, the right renal artery. In, in uh, this is the right renal artery in transfer section. This one I will see aorta and now longitudinal section of the artery C. 
seeing just a minute. You have to do it. You have to masterize yourself with the normal anatomy because the pathology is later on. This one. You can see the cystic area, tiny cystic area, you can see the pulsations in it. And now I'm going to move the probe 90 degrees to see if it enters the head of the kidney. And you can see that this, this section is entering the kidney. This is the renal. Uh, sorry, it is, I am saying entering. Please excuse me. It's in fact uh, not entering, rather, <laughs> it's an artery and it's uh, coming out of the kidney from the higher region. Thank you.